I'm Tommy Thomas. I want to welcome you to the show, How to Beat the Odds. Today, movies, books, everything talking about the demonic, the supernatural, Harry Potter, how to become witches, how to learn about witchcraft. I want to tell you something. The movies may glamorize that and sell a lot of tickets, getting people excited about the powers of the demonic and all that. But let me tell you something. It's real. And until you come face to face with the demons and know how real they are and how the powers of darkness control people's lives and cause them to do crazy things, even suicide. Well, that's what happened with our guest today. She almost got to the place where she committed suicide, but God intervened. She's going to share her testimony right now. Sandy Boyd has an awesome ministry now, reaching out with the Gideons all over America, sharing her testimony. So let's meet her right now. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Tommy. Well, we have some Gideon friends. They told me a little bit about your testimony, and you shared it with us today. But let's go back. When you were a little girl, grandmother was praying, and it wasn't for Jesus, was it? No, it wasn't. It what did she do? Well, she was into witchcraft and introduced my two older sisters and myself to witchcraft, um, spell books, incantation books, and rituals. When we were very young, when I was about five years old, I started getting into talking to spirits and thinking that they were my friends and that they would help guide my life. And when I was in uh, about nine years old, my dad had gotten into witchcraft, but he took it even a step further and got into Satanism. Satanism? Yes. That's serious stuff. Yes, it is. And uh, from that point on, my life took a downward spiral. My dad introduced me to drugs, cocaine, and other drugs. At nine or ten years old, what, he yes, did that? Yes, when I was nine years old. By the time I was ten years old, I was addicted to the drugs that he had me on, and I was a participant in the satanic rituals and sacrifices. And from that point on, uh, my life was never the same. Molestation, things like that were a part of all this? Oh, yes, definitely. Sexual sacrifices. Okay. It, that, was, that was the main thing with him. And when I went through my adolescent years, um, when I was 17 years old, I thought I needed to get out of this. There has to be a better way of life. And in order to get out of this lifestyle, I ran away from home. Okay. I lived with a woman that I worked with for a short time, and uh, we moved to Washington State. And now your mom and your two sisters? Yes, they, they were still there. Okay. They were still there. My older sister was moved out at the time okay. and married. And then my other sister was actually in a psychiatric hospital. 